There I walk. On my way to a place I will never forget in my life. Let me take you into an antiquated piece of Phoenician history that's now consigned to oblivion. Built in the early 1800s, this palace stands in a central position with respect to the upper part of this Italian town. An aristocratic building that is slowly but surely perishing its prey to the extraterritorial forces of Mother Nature. Once the residence of the elite of this municipality, time seems to be an elusive concept and as this factor has progressed, the property now stands sole and solitary. Today, I take a look behind her closed doors. This palace may be abandoned, but it is still abundant in art and glory. It was once occupied by this man, Marco Antonio, in the early 18th century. A musician since childhood, graduated in law in 1810, married Countess Laura, with whom he had a son. An owl once nestled its way in, but never found a way out again. And as the snakes start to sing in the woods around the palace, the echoes of a bygone noble life sometimes still his along. Marco already died at the age of 29 due to nervous consumption, leaving behind a child of a few months, who eventually followed his dad's footsteps and became a musician too and lived in the palace for many years. But pursuant to more recent photos, the palace turns out to have been inhabited by a woman in her very last days. Today is the time Let's relive the history together that once took place here.
Welcome back everyone on a brand new video of the Italy series. Third time now in Italy filming a series. But this place is phenomenal. It's probably one of my favorite mansions I've ever seen in Italy. What a grand place. It is massive in size. I don't know yet which family lived there but two things i know for sure it was a big family and it was a wealthy family mamma mia what a place and you've only seen the exterior now but the interior will probably even blow your mind on a higher level than the exterior well, what else should I say? I think we should just start this exploration together. I am so excited. And yeah, you're gonna love it. Follow me inside. All right, so let's start another exploration for the books. And I start right in the main entrance one day this was the main hallway where the people would walk inside there are plenty of documents which i'm not gonna point out but what i can tell you is that the name of the family was ponti and this was once the home of the ponti family as you can see they definitely had a dog <laughs> maybe even more we can still see some of the remains of the old paintwork on the walls there. And maybe that's even a family coat of arms. Everywhere on the walls are frames, but also everywhere inside, we are going to find precious paintwork. I think there are even around 50 rooms inside this place. I'm not even over exaggerating. Over here, we have all the stairs going up, but that's something for later. What I haven't showed you yet is the beautiful paintings over here on the ceiling. Wow. So well detailed. Imagine how they were made one day. They definitely needed a letter or something to get up there. <laughs> Such master craft at work. And then we come inside the next room right next to the hallway. This was their dining area. Still with the grand dining table in the middle. And on top of it is a blood pressure manometer with the manchette, the meter. I think it was just for self-use. I'm just slowly gonna build up the tangent because this building is so big as I mentioned and there are so many beautiful rooms. This is just one of them and this is not even the most majestic one of all of course. You know me, I always try to find the most fascinating abandoned places out there. Look over here. That was once the main door or the back door. One of both, an old photo, a statue over here, looks like the tinker, we call uh, it in the Netherlands. This is mostly emptied out, I guess, yep, and he had a fireplace over here, we can see some other remains of some paintwork. But we're gonna find areas in this building where the paintwork is still pristine and not even that badly damaged. Wow. Look over here, full of their glasses. Some crystal. Still some lace to make up the table. Then let's continue. 
throughout this huge property. And then right over here, we have another precious room. I think one of the main living rooms on this floor. Wow. There is a beautiful marble table over here. Very, very heavy. There's a real marble plate. Oh, look over here. On the sofa. Looks like that's still the drawing of a child. One thing for sure, they definitely had children and I think very, very many children. Here we can see some pictures. Look how they are dressed. This was once the noble class of this time. They were living inside of this place. This picture was taken inside of this place. I recognize the structure. Look over here. Another beautiful hand-drawn picture of one of the former family members that resided there. And another one. Beautiful. Still some liquor over here. I think inside is even more liquor. Oh no, there are the glasses for the liquor, of course. Beautiful corner cabinet. <laughs> Some fake plants over here, a fake bouquet. These people were definitely very religious. And I think like most Italian people in population, Roman Catholic. And look over here in the corner. We still have some sheet music. We're gonna find music instruments as well. That's what I will tell you, but I'm not gonna tell you which music instrument. But if you're not new around here and have watched more videos of us, you can probably already guess what we are gonna find. Now this woman over here was one of the last residents of this property. This was a dignified building that was passed on from generations to generations. And that passage of time is beautifully reflected in this photo album. Wow. We can see a man, woman, and the same child, I think, growing up. Over here just born, they were very happy. Look at the smile of the woman. Eventually, the child grew older. Probably went to primary school for the first time and everything. And then right over here, on this side, we have a part of their former office. I think they did all their business from this room. But we're gonna find more business rooms with computers. It's crazy to see one of the first models of the iMac. <laughs> I'm totally not used to this model anymore. It's maybe even early 2000s. Plenty of more photos of air. This man, we will see him coming back in plenty of photos. And this picture is taken inside of the mansion as well. Where did all these people go? Are some of these people still alive? And if the answer to that question is yes, why are they not reclaiming their material? Why is this building wide open? And why is everything just decaying inside? I've got plenty full questions that rise to my head with this place. And honestly, it's a shame to see it just withering away. And everything just turning to dust. I really hope this place will be emptied out in time. And it will not become looter's paradise. It would break my heart. Especially 
because the history of the family is so rich. Wow, look over here. Talking about a rich family history. Those were all family ancestors of the military nobility of that time. It's absolutely impressive. Some old magazines over here. From 1957 and 1958. Incredible. This building is at least a few centuries old. And then look over here. We can go down, but also look at the doorknob. It's like <laughs> some sort of diamond or something. Sapphire blue color. This looks like it's going to sort of a shed part. Let's quickly check out the water, but... No way! Oh my gosh. That is still connected, or maybe those are the last drops of water coming outside. Oh my gosh, okay. No freaking way. This is in front of the mansion where I started this video. We can see the noble class family sitting there. Look how they are dressed. These people were so generous in their time. This is in front of the shed with their horse and the carriages. Wow. Okay, this, this blew me away, people. Now I really have a strong imagination about the rich history of this place. A handwritten letter from 1998, my year of birth. Elisa Belle. Elisa Bello. All right. I think that was the name of the friend who wrote to the family. Dang, look over here. They're sitting in the back courtyard. Oh my. Now you really get aware that time is such an elusive value. Once one of the most important buildings of this town, of this entire region maybe, and one of the most important families that live there. And right now, it's literally just a decaying building. Can I open this? Yeah, I can open this. A decaying building that everybody seems to have forgotten about. And nobody's even caring anymore about this novel family that left there. What a shame. Maybe this was for their dog when they went to the veterinarian or for a cat. Yeah, well, this was just a shed. We have a quite modern Singer sewing machine over there. As you can see, they also had a lot of kitchen stuff and their own kitchen here. Now, this was definitely once the servant's kitchen. I can barely not imagine that these people did not have any servants working for them. At least the noble class family. Maybe the more modern family that lived there in the last days before abandonment. Did not have any servants, but yeah, I don't know. Another door leading to the outside. And look how incredibly traditional this is. Over here we have an old table where they would wash their clothes, squeeze them over here, and this little bucket over here would have been filled with water. And what's this? Oh, it's very heavy. I think this was their dryer for the clothes. They would put coals inside of there, it would eventually heat up and it would dry the clothes. Wow, that is again incredibly old fashioned and traditional. I think by now you're getting a strong awareness of the fact that this property 
it's very ancient and dating for a long time ago. Dang, look at the storage over here. Incredible how many stuff they actually possessed. We have some bottles of wine. And many glasses. Plenty of plates. It keeps on going. And it's definitely not finished yet. Over here we have some doors. As you can see, they actually place sort of a net right in front of it. This is no glass, but it's really like a net. And they used this net for uh, food one day. Food was placed inside and the cat and mouses and the rats and mouses could not uh, actually go inside and eat from their stock of food. And then this is the last room. A more modern one, you can tell that this was the room that was used in the last days to do their laundry. We have a quite new looking washer. And yeah, let's see if the water over here is also working. My gosh. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Now there is one other room over here and as you can see we can go upstairs over here. But I'm going upstairs at the main hallway so you have a better idea of the route I take and eventually I will promise you I will end my video going down over here. Some more documents which I'm not gonna point out in detail again but over here we have a fur coat hanging on this coat rack and some other jackets. So I'm back at the main hallway. I just showed you the right side of the building. Before going upstairs, there is also a left side. Let's see. Whoa, my gosh. Look at the ceiling. Wow. Incredible. We have some huge mirrors over there. cupboard over here and even some more old photos on top of there look we have another photo of the family again sitting in front of the mansion with the children wow I think that was one of their sons and that was taken on his marriage day maybe another photo of the family Oh, look at that, an aquarium. So they also had fishes aware to accompany them. And then look around this mirror. All these painted ornate details carved out. Unbelievable. Also the draperies right above the windows. And then the carvings and the paintwork, it's unreal. What a shame that this is abandoned. I mean, I'm happy to show you such a rich piece of history, but it also really hurts me. There's nobody looking after this place anymore. Voila. Look at that. As I told you, we have some more iMac computers and monitors. Oh, look over here. We have an electric organ for Fisa, the brand name. That was a printer. So yeah, definitely all their business was done from here. Another printer. Crazy to see the modern stuff in comparison with the very historic atmosphere inside that was one of the last residents this woman and away are some two tiny cups and written on them is the name Sienna so maybe that was 
one of the daughters. Look at all these little knickknacks standing on top of here. Another photo of the woman who lived there in the last days. And then look over here at the IMAX. <laughs> I think I've never found so many computers inside of a place, even the Wi-Fi router over here. <laughs> I'm wondering for how long this place has been abandoned, but I think not more than 10 years. And the degradation is already severe. Another tiny kitchen part. I think they had around four or five kitchens inside this place. Now there are some tins of vegetables. Let's check the date. No. No freaking way. I don't know about the expiry date of these vegetables, how long it normally is, but this is from 2017. And this over here is even dating from 2019. No freaking way. And you can see all the red and mice droppings around it. So then you understand why they made these cabinets with these nets I showed you previously. Some cute tiny china we are also still standing here. Now finding such recent expiry dates absolutely, yeah, surprised me. I was totally not expecting it, but I think this place is definitely abandoned for around 10 years, maybe eight. I'm going upstairs right now. Over there, right under the staircase, they had a little secret door that was painted in the same pattern where they would store some additional stuff under the staircase. And look at this, wow. Also all the beautiful frames over here on the wall. We have another door. Oh, this was a bathroom. Quite dirty inside the bathtub. But the towels that are hanging up, they still look relatively fresh. Oh, and a morning coat over here as well. Even the toilet paper is still hanging up. This place is legit untouched. Okay, let's close this door again. Very squeaky, but I always like to leave everything the way I find it. As they say the slogan while doing our hobby. Take nothing but pictures or video and leave nothing but footprints. Have respect for the place you visit and never share them publish, uh, publicly. Uh, but yeah, have a look. Isn't this wow? Absolutely incredible. The main corridor on this first floor, the tiles on the ground everywhere. My gosh. And from this point, we will have many different ways to go. Oh my. The Renaissance paintings over here. Right now we can definitely see Italian history displayed on the wall. The time of the Roman, the Roman era. Wow. Paintings are incredible here. Absolutely gorgeous. Also something written there in Italian. All these baby angels. Wow. This even looks like a god, like Zeus or something. A little bit better on the ceilings too. With these sort of pentagons and 
all the precious details. And right over here they had their balcony. And have a look at the majestic view from here. We can see the mountains in the back. Wow. I tell you, this is only the little start. Every individual room had a balcony. So yeah, let's just go inside this room first. Ready to see what's behind those doors? Three, two, one, showtime. <laughs> wow. What a beautiful bedroom with so much charm. I just love antiques, antique furniture, antique styles. It will never get boring to me. And then over there on all the sides, they had paintings of a forestal team with trees. And the countryside. Still some two euro cent coins laying here. And the bed is even still made up. It's incredible. Most individual rooms, they had their own heater as those are quite large and spacious rooms and it would have been quite difficult to keep them nice and warm in the winter times because it can also get quite cold in Italy and look at this lovely photo of a woman I think with her granddaughter at this point the roots are even starting to grow inside behind this door oh it's just continuing to the other side and this was a little private bathroom for this particular room which we often see in such dignified places <laughs> I also like this how their shoes are still standing here and look at those boot heels very fashionable also nowadays. I remember for that time they were already rocking them. Another room with beautiful paintwork. And look over there, wow. Incredible. The wicked bench over here and look at this. This absolutely sparks my mind. Still some pillows inside of here and a denim jacket, which is pretty small. It was definitely from a child. And also this room has a heater and then the paintwork from up close. But you can also clearly see the humidity and the harm to this building already. Now behind these curtains, we had another balcony. Look at this, wow. Oh, wow. This was definitely a children's room with this little bed over there, still some dolls over there and look at the ceiling. Absolutely mind blowing. So colorful and so dreamy and magical. I guess the child who slept there lived a happy life. And also slept well at night. Such ambience in this room. You can still a piece of clothes over there. And in contrast with the beautiful, magical ambience, we have this quite airy painting over here, very abstract. I really cannot imagine that it used to be in this room, but you can tell by the size of this chair, this was definitely a child's room. 
And these children were all raised up with religion, so she was maybe just uh, praying here or something. But wow, wow. And then as I mentioned, not only this beautiful bed, but also the cute dolls. <laughs> And then we continue through another corridor. Over here is the bathroom connected with that bathroom. And this was also once a passage to go to the next area. We have a door over here. Which was another bathroom. Which was another bathroom. And this bathroom actually belonged to this bathroom, I believe. Just look at the carvings of this bed frame already. You can clearly see the decaying state and the wallpaper that's starting to peel off. I think that over there was actually a, a bed pan where they could leave their droppings inside. Okay, this is a beautiful sofa actually. Oh, and talking about beautiful, look at the stove. That's a very old one. There is no brand's name written on it. I think this room belonged to a girl and she would apply her makeup right on this table over here. Now let's quickly check out the wardrobes, but they are not that stuffed anymore, at least in this room. And then we explored one part of this upstairs level together. It's time for the next part. Be surprised with the next part that's about to follow as is also a beautiful part with many beautiful rooms oh so big isn't it incredible that this is just still hanging up here on the coat rack like they were still planning to return and they just vanished into the blue and never came back We have another bathroom over here, which I assume belonged to two children. Maybe two daughters, maybe two sons. They had their own sink over here for the mornings. And also these walls are painted. It's quite faded, but you can still see some remains of the pink color. So I think those were the rooms of two of their daughters. Still all the sheets and everything are left over here on the shelves. Some blan some blankets if it was cold during times of winter. Just looking at all the historical artifacts and frames inside of here. Imagining that this once took place when the first generations lived inside of here. Mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. We have another part of the corridor over here. I especially love the mirror with these columns on the sides, actually carved wooden structures. We have some speakers over here, plenty of paperwork as well, some written notes, a telephone, another Wi-Fi router, this is crazy people. 
The last residents definitely did not leave this place an incredible long time ago. Dang it, this is a huge room again. Wow. A very old book over here. Mostly about religion. This photo is adorable. We can see a woman together with her daughter staring outside the window somewhere inside this place. It seemed that they really cared about the rich history of their family. And I think eventually there was just nobody anymore to follow up the family tree or maybe the new generations did not have sufficient funds to maintain this property. As I can imagine that it's quite costly also for the electricity cost, the gas cost and everything. I think that's what happened, at least that's what I assume. But of course, this is just based on interpretation and experience. And I can also be wrong. Wow. Look at this woman. Dang, those photos are in a very bad state. Covered in mold. Those ones too. What a shame. So sad. It's just the lost glory of their family inside of this place. <laughs> it's crazy, there is another iMac. I think, I'm not sure, but was this really a monitor for a computer? Or was it more of a television? Because you could also put your headphones inside of here, place a DVD or a CD inside of there. I think Apple also made monitors for televisions one day. And then look at this piece of furniture. Wow. That is an incredible piece of furniture. I love this bank with the sides. A little bit wave like that. And look at the humidity everywhere on the walls too. A huge mirror. Look over there. One of the last residents, this woman. I'm 100% sure this maybe was a granddaughter of her. On top of the bed also one of those very old fashioned grooming kits. With all these different compartments. I just love it. You could all bend it in like this. And then you could actually take it with you. It was like a portable case. Oh, how neat. Still pumps and shoes standing inside of here. Some medicines over here as well. And lastly inside this room we have a very ancient frame over here with a lot of written text about Benedictus, I think something with religion dating from centuries ago, a complete quote. And then be surprised for the next room. <laughs> I told you in the start of this video about a music instrument, right now you're gonna see it. Ta-da! <laughs> Oh wow, oh wow. A beautiful Playa Grand Piano from Paris. Still with the last sheet music laying on top of it. not working anymore as a wall. By the bottom side we can tell that this was a plyel piano. I've seen it quite few ones in the band's day before. And yeah, of course it's very sad that 
some keys are broken and it's just left in this neglecting state. We have a huge map over here on the wall as well. And look over here. Very old painting. Probably also a family ancestor. What's behind these curtains? Oh, it like a walk-in closet or something with still plenty of clothes over there. And just some other storage. And this magazine is dating from 2009. Apart from the expiry dates on the vegetable tins, that's the most recent date i found so far. The wooden furniture and everything is just incredible inside of here. Over there we can see another photo of how the place once used to look like. It even has a tower. Beautiful stove over here in the corner. And look over here. There's the woman who lived there in the last days. Such an incredible and majestic room. I've only seen lamps like this just a few times before. And never in Italy, but it was actually in Portugal. They also made like little crucifixes and crosses inside of his design, dedicated to religion. Television over there as well. Some other old photos. And this man was obviously very important within the family tree. He's reflected everywhere in this building. Now lastly, there is one other bedroom on this floor you've not seen yet. And that one's right over here. Have a look. With the two seats right in front of it. What is all of this? Oh, medicines, all of them. Well, you can clearly tell that people of all the age were also living in one day. And probably because these last generations of the family passed away, it's now just abandoned. Because the younger, newer generations cannot afford it. Wow. These people were living their life. God bless them, absolutely. <laughs> there is just another iMac over here. It's not stopping with all those iMacs. I also really like the curtains. This was definitely a girl's room. Look at the amount of makeup that's still present. Absolutely insane. Lipsticks, foundation, all these cramps. Shoes. Everything is still there. What's down beneath this? Oh, even more shoes. Definitely from a woman. And then, of course, also this particular bedroom had her own private bathroom. Voila. This place is still overstuffed with all the possessions and legit so untouched. It's unreal. I really like the tiles inside of this bathroom. As you can tell, it's getting quite dark. 
And the ambience is also really changing in this place. But I'm not scared that quickly. And I'm definitely still seeing the beauty of this place. Dang, look at these doors with the yellow stained glass. And behind it is another bathroom. So toiled over there. Finally, we're going to the attic. And after that, there was one other room in a little area and then we explored this entire place as a wall. I don't know why the bicycle is just standing right next to the banister over here on the attic stairs. Now over here we have even more bedrooms. So you can tell the size of the family but I also think plenty of those rooms on this attic were for servants. <laughs> Quite a unique lamp with a star frame around it. Look at the photo of the man reading a newspaper in a local park. Let's firstly go to the left side of the building. Oh, look at these big chests over here. Oh, they were heavy and also falling apart. I don't want to break anything. Well, those rooms are just empty over here. Maybe there is still something left over here. Well, a beautiful vanity. Over here, the remains of a bed frame. some clothes inside of here. But look at this, wow. That was a beautiful gentle hat which was once worn by a woman, I think, maybe for funeral occasions or something. Very unique. I'm gonna put it right inside the wardrobe because that should not be left on the ground. Well, I can already see that the attic is going to be plenty of storage. Part of a bed frame here. Plenty of sheets and blankets. Another bedroom. Wow, look at these papers. I think there are documents inside from the years 1912 up to when and including 1916 oh yeah this definitely was paperwork from their business a lot of numbers yep those were like this was just uh, the old administration for their business i think this was a family ancestor once another old photo Wow, a man, I think somewhere in a restaurant and he's thinking about something, staring outside the window. This is a beautiful photo, very photogenic. Well, just some storage over there. Mostly just old artifacts about the family and always some storage on these attics. But maybe we can still find something beautiful. Oh, there is a bed. Of course, always these freaking beds in those places. I'm not here to harm you, buddy. Keep chill and please don't fly in my hair. 
Well, luckily I'm wearing a hat though, but still. I've heard you have to be careful because those places can easily get in your hair. <laughs> oh, those look like bars of an old game. But a really old game. All over here. Old rums. <laughs> I even see some Christmas decoration down there. The bed is still flying around. Probably woke it up with my light. And plenty of other parts of furniture are still standing here. Well buddy, I'm gonna leave you alone. Sorry to disturb you. These beds really do not like light of cameras. They always wake up. Now let's go back. And then I will show you the very, very last part inside of this place. And after that, we explored it as a whole. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so there we go into the very last part. And what a mind blowing and terrifically beautiful place this was. An exploration in Italy that is very high on my list and I will never forget. So many bathrooms. Over here you can see some stairs already going down. But I want to show it to you from this side. Look at the spiral little wooden stairs going to here. And we have another precious room. And this room has strangely enough the most family history of all. Because everywhere in the walls we can find frames and photos of the family. So let's immerse ourselves in this passage of time of the family. Again, the latest resident over there. I'm just slowly gonna go through these photos. They're beautiful to stare at and I'm sure you would love to see them too. Over here we can see a woman that was clearly a nun. I think also a part of the family as they were very religious. That was once in the front gate, the portal of this mansion. The man in the middle was definitely the big patron, the most important and oldest person at that time. Look over here, the front garden, courtyard, children just playing on the pavement. So many important moments and occasions that were all captured on photo. This was in 1910. We've seen this photo before, the man reading the newspaper in the park. Why is all this precious family history just left unloved? Why, oh why? A Sony television and the last photo of their son. He was quite a handsome guy. Actually, from their son, no, from their sons. <laughs> Those are four different people, I think. Insane. And those boys are probably still alive. I'm really wondering what they think about this property at the moment. To me it would hurt if I would not have been able to fix up this place and it's now just neglecting over here. 
Maybe they moved abroad and they cannot even look after it anymore. There can be plenty of reasons. And I definitely do not want to be too judgmental about why this place is left like this because it can also be a family dispute going on. As you can see, I just made my way inside of a kitchen. A very cozy one where also still everything is left. All the pots and pans. Spices, glasses. Yeah, just pristine. Entirely untouched. It's unbelievable. Where we can see a religious priest, P. Leopoldo. And then finally, there are still some written things right over here. Insane. And then we're slowly gonna make our way back to that point. Or I told you, I promise you that I will be back here later and end the video there. We only have such a few rooms now to show you. As I told you, this room is massive. This is empty. But yeah, as I told you, this place is massive. And <laughs> not a kitchen part. Very old traditional stone sink. A very old fireplace. Wow. Oh, look at the wooden director's chair over there. And lastly over here we also have a bedroom. Oh my poor owl. The poor animal made its way inside, but eventually never outside. It's laying on top of the bed. And it looks like it's been laying here for a long time like that already. Rest in peace, my dearest friend. Such beautiful animals, those owls. Well, this is going to nowhere. Just the door to the outside. And then lastly, you can probably already see it. We're going to the point where I told you I will be back here. Yes, there we are. Oh my gosh, people. <laughs> what a huge place. What a huge place. And what an incredibly well-preserved and beautiful place. And then lastly, I want to show you the outside of this place. There are huge garden, but also more details of the exterior of that majestic place we've just seen. I don't know about you, but I am literally lost for words. What a property and what a size. And talking about the size, there is also a huge garden surrounding this property. These people were very generous, for sure. Now look over here, at this adorable outbuilding. And it was actually a shed. Let's walk to there. All right, so there we are. I've not seen this area yet, so I'm also curious what's inside. But I think, as far as I can see now, just some general storage. <laughs> there is still the box of their IMAX that we found inside. Don't think I can open that one anymore. Let's just walk around. I don't know if I can open it. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. Well, I was just talking about our garden. And over here is just full of items and machines that were used for gardening. Also some tools and appliances there. <laughs> they definitely needed that lawnmower. They even had a second one. Now over here was their entire entrance lane where they would drive up with their car one day. And then look at the building style. I really can't place it, but also has a bit of, bit of taste of buildings that you often see in the mountains. Also houses that I've seen in Switzerland with the woodwork on top. And then of course, the exterior and the walls itself have been beautifully painted by the Italians. <laughs> Even a palm tree over there. Dang. Sun is bright. And slowly going down at the end of this explore. Oh, there is even still a sign that you have to watch out for the duck. <laughs> well, as the owners have passed away, I think the duck also doesn't exist anymore. And as you can see, over here it's saying 26. Now I do think there were maybe two families living. And this was a building, and this was the grand building of the generous family. Wow. What a monumental building, even a tower on top of there, with still the TV antennas. It is absolutely unbelievable, unreal. We gotta love Italy for its well-preserved history. Look at the front over here. These arcs and the massive columns. This must have been a fabulous place to live. Absolutely spectacular. Over there on the side where you see the ivory growing, they also had the balcony that I showed from that one room. And then this is absolutely magical. Imagine just having lunch here and everything one day. Over here on these dark green wooden benches with all the beautiful paintwork again. Dang. Eagles and everything. I also really love the lamps. This was the main door one day, where I started this video. Absolutely marvelous. I absolutely love my time inside of here. And I hope that you did the same. I'm gonna close this unforgettable documentary right over here. And I really want to thank you for sticking around with me till the very end. Uh, this place was just fantastico, as they would say in Italian. I'm speechless. I really want to thank the Ponti family for exploring their rich piece of history today. Much respect to them and much dignity to them for what they have once accomplished. Um, yeah, what else should I say? If you enjoyed this place and it sparked your mind as much as it did to me, then I just want to ask you for the favor for leaving a thumbs up because it greatly helps me supporting to make more content. And also feel free to just subscribe to our channel if you like our content and want to have it in your feed every week, twice a week, Wednesday and Saturday, as always. 
And also do not forget to write a nice comment about your opinion and thoughts and any feedback is welcome on the perspective in which I saw these places. And yeah, that was it. I will see you on the next adventure. I'm getting tired, so closing this video right now. Peace out and time to have some food and go to the hotel. Bye bye.